Hey guys, Mr. Frags here from ArmageddonGaming.com, and this is the Dante's Inferno Infernal Difficulty Guide for NextGenWalkers.com. So we're on the river of Acheron, if that's how you say it, Archeron, whatever. I'm gonna keep calling it Acheron because that sounds more old timey. And now we're on top of this boat that brings everybody into hell. So this video marks the last of the first level, which are the shores of Archeron. So the way this fight works is you're going to have these three big guys. The battle is pretty much going to end when you kill the three big guys. You're going to have the flying bats and the little demons running around. When you kill all but one of the little demons, the flying bats are going to come. When you kill all the flying bats, the little demons are going to come. So. You're just going to have a continuous push of enemies. I suggest trying to keep most of the little guys alive and just using cross attacks because the flying bats are so much more of a pain to deal with. And you notice I used that bar in the bottom left hand corner of my screen and I just kind of went ape shit. That's our redemption bar and activating that with left bumper and R bumper. Or I'm guessing R2 and L2 or R1 and L1 on the PS3 makes you go ape shit. So it's definitely something you wanna save. Increases your damage and attack speed. Uh it helps. So you can tell this guy I already got two guys down. So once you kill the last guy, the last big guy the little guys and the bats will stop spawning so you can just finish them off. Once we get our cross upgrades it's really gonna just turn into a one-sided game. So he's dead so we're just gonna finish these guys off. You can see our cross already is doing a ton of damage and it's just wiping people out. So just imagine that when uh, we start really upgrading it. Now we're going to have to kill one of these big guys. It's the same process as before, just keep dodging them. Uh, you're just going to have a couple of these guys to deal with. Just absolve them real quick. These guys won't respawn, so you can just deal with them right away and get them out of the way. I'm also going to buy my scythe upgrade here for heavy attacks. Uh, the only things we're really going to buy out of the hev uh, Unholy Tree, not Heavy Tree, is the Scythe Heavy Attack upgrades and the Health and Mana upgrades. I believe we already bought the Health upgrade. Actually, we might not have, but we will be if we haven't yet. So it's just really kind of keep your distance, run up to him, use a couple of Heavy Attacks, he has a pretty regular attack pattern. If you're running away and you prefer to keep your distance, just use some cross attacks. There's a magic well over behind the screen. It's kind of hard to see. I didn't notice it my first time. This really isn't challenging at all, it's just kind of keep your distance and try to take them down. I don't suggest saving your redemption bar for this fight because the fight before this it's not all that hard but it's definitely tougher than this and just getting the fight before this done is a lot higher priority because of the constantly spawning enemies. This guy you just gotta fight him and deal with him and you'll be all set. Sooner or later he'll go down. I think he's going to go down real quick. There he goes. Same quick time event. They don't change it up at all. And you're cut in half. 
And now you're just gonna have to go ape shit with this guy. I go get the two health wells and well that one health well and the one mana well. And then you'll just get an on-screen prompt to run up to the head and just start mashing B and then we're gonna head into limbo.